Yeah, so a, a key challenge for our clients is really assessing the impact of outsourcing. Now obviously there's a number of parts of the process that can be outsourced, the extreme example being actually outsourcing the entire trading desk. But if we focus on firms that trade themselves but have perhaps outsourced their, their back or middle office, some of the challenges associated with that model is, yes there's a, a potential saving in operational cost by outsourcing to a larger provider with, with more scale, but if you look at the challenges of trading, particularly when you come to OTC derivatives and instruments that require collateral and netting and margining and so on, um, in order to uh, achieve a best execution on the trading desk, you actually need some of the information that's traditionally been locked away in the back office actually at the point of trade. And that's very important. So although you might find that you've got a slightly cheaper price from a particular broker, it may be more effective to pay a slightly higher price at the time of trade because the overall cost of trade would be lower when considering the effect of collateral and netting and so on. And that's one of the challenges, actually getting that interaction. So I believe that the outsourcing model will certainly have to evolve and change and some much more real-time exchange of data between the outsource provider and the trading desk in order to achieve best execution.